Good evening everybody. Welcome to Friday. We just finished supper not long ago. I have not cleaned up from supper yet though. We just got pizza from Little Caesars because that thin crust pizza was continuing to call my name that I was telling y'all about last week. So that's what we got tonight and it was great. Oh, you doing faces? He saw a dragonfly now so he's done. <laughs> when everybody else gets finished eating, we're going to go in and clean up and then we're making a chocolate cobbler for movie night tonight. I think it was about a month, maybe two months ago, I was going to make one, but I didn't have any baking cocoa, so I couldn't make it. That's not a problem tonight. We've got some. Am I alive? No. Am we I got an animal? No. Do I go on any kind of cheeseburger or anything? Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you don't go on a cheeseburger, no. Well, good gracious, I don't know. Am I a tree? No. Am I a person, place, or thing? Am I a animal? Yes, you're a thing. Y'all gotta understand, I've been shooing horses since very early this morning, so <laughs> right now I don't know if I'm alive or not. <laughs> Do you build with me? No. Hmm? Tyler said picnic, 4th of July. Picnic? Mustard. Well, you got mustard on you. I do? Yeah. <laughs> so the dog gone and I must be a hot dog. Yep. <laughs> vacuum real quick before we make the chocolate cobbler but I want to tell y'all once again this vacuum cleaner is on rollback for even cheaper than it was before I think okay so originally I paid $1.99 for this vacuum cleaner it's a shark list away I can't remember what all other things the name says but anyway it was originally $1.99 that's what I paid for it then some kind of holiday came up I can't remember and they were having a big sale was it Memorial Day I think it was a Memorial Day sale and it was on rollback for like 129 or something like that. So I was like, what? That's almost half price, you know, minus about 30 or so more dollars. Anyway, it is now on rollback for $95, less than half price. It's a really good vacuum cleaner, y'all. A few people asked before if it was heavy. I mean, when you just pick it up, it's kind of heavy, but you don't really have to pick, I have to pick it up to go up and down the different little steps. Like, you know, we have little steps everywhere. So I have to pick it up to get it over that. But other than that, I don't really, you know, it's not that heavy even to do that with though. You know, it's, I don't know how much it weighs, but anyway, when you're vacuuming with it, it pulls itself. So like it, it will almost pull you with it. It's like walking you or something. 
So that's one thing I really like about it. And then you can do floor, so it has a hard floor setting and a carpet setting. And especially on the carpet, when you put it on the carpet, it's like boom, it goes. So I think it comes in this color and red, I believe. Maybe black too. All right, y'all, it's time for the chocolate cobbler. We're having a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie night marathon. <laughs> this chocolate cobbler is pretty easy to make. It seems more difficult than it is because there are a lot of steps, but once you, you know, just break the steps down, it's not that bad. I break it down into my fish mouth method. That's, you know, greater than, anyway. <laughs> this is how I write down recipes, especially ones with a lot of steps because, you know, then it, it's easier to see. Mix these, stir in these, Okay, anyway, there we go, sissy. One cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, two of those. Okay, then we need half a teaspoon of salt, two-thirds of a cup of sugar. I really love these Pioneer Woman measuring cups that I got because the handles are so long. I love the long handles. Okay, then we need one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. All right, now you're gonna whisk all that together. We'll sit this over here because we'll need it again in a minute. So while she's whisking that, I'm going to get two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, there you go, Sissy. All right, we're putting in half a cup of milk. The two tablespoons of melted butter. And a teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. Got it? So now we're gonna spray, I'm pretty sure this this is either an eight by eight or a nine by nine pan. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of cooking spray and we're gonna spread in the mixture. It's really thick, so you definitely have to spread it. If you just dump it in, it's just gonna do that. I need to preheat the oven to 350. Now we're gonna set this over to the side and mix up the topping. We need a fourth of a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'll just drop this in real quick. There we go. A tablespoon of cocoa, and that's it. You're gonna whisk it up. Let me get the whisk ready for you. And while she's whisking this, I'm gonna put one cup of water on the stove and we're gonna bring it to a boil. Sissy's got that mixed up. Now we're gonna bring this back over here and we just take this topping and sprinkle it all over the top. I've never liked chocolate cake, but this is very good, even for those who don't love chocolate cake. It's great. It almost turns into like a pudding and cake combined. It's wonderful. Okay, the last thing we do is pour over the boiling water. That's it. And I remember the first time we made this, I think I told y'all this the last time we made it, which has been like half a year ago, I think. But when I first did that, I was like, are they sure about this? I mean, the cake will start to cook and rise up. It's wonderful. Now we're just waiting on the oven to preheat, so I'm gonna wash these dishes real quick. And then it goes in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. 